An imminent real estate collapse in Canada has been predicted for years, especially in red-hot markets like Vancouver. But prices and sales have continued upwards, seemingly oblivious to the naysayers. Now a new report says the market is finally ready for a correction. As Robert Buffum reports, Lloydminster may weather this forecasted storm. Housing starts and house prices are enjoying fairly robust growth throughout Canada. But that may all come to an end soon. So says a report from TD Economics. Citing a perfect storm of factors including subdued household incomes, rising interest rates and stricter borrowing rule. The report estimates average national sales will drop 15.2% and prices will fall 10.2% across Canada over the next two years. Worst hit, Vancouver, which it says is destined for a walloping 25.4% drop in sales and a 14.8% decline in average prices. Toronto is also expected to be hit hard with a 25% decrease in sales activity and an 11.7% drop in prices. Edmonton will only suffer a 9.5% drop in sales and a 6.6% fall in prices. Meanwhile, Regina is only estimated to edge down 3.8% in sales activity and 6.1% in prices. It's not all doom and gloom on the housing front. In keeping with the report's relatively positive outlook for the prairies, especially Saskatchewan, some experts say Lloydminster may be impervious to the looming storm. I really don't see us being affected at all. This broker says Lloydminster is on solid ground because of its strong economy. Lloydminster is a pretty dynamic uh, little community. We're looking at a population of about 30,000 people and we're supported by the oil, uh, agriculture and retail trade. The average resale home price in Canada is expected to be $334,000 in two years time. With average home prices in Lloydminster approximately hundred grand below that, Gilbert says there's still plenty of room for upward growth in this market. Robert Buffum, Newcap News. Well, Lloyd Mr.'s colonial days is still in full force and what's a fair without some magic. Freddy the Fusion is taking his young audience by storm with all his tricks and his show proves to be different from the rest. Kathy Lee brings us to the grounds today and tells us what the kids thought about the show. Carbon dioxide. What do you put in balloons typically? It's Freddy Fusion's first time at Colonial Days and he says the experience has been all thumbs up. We've been on the road since May, starting in Texas. We worked all our, uh, all our way up to Ontario and then straight across uh, into Manitoba. And uh, so far this has been the best. It's been great. People have been great. Hospitality here has been amazing. Fusion even had a chance to get in on some games and rides. But the main gig for him is his magic show, he says, is state of the art. Each illusion is a one of a kind piece in the show. And then uh, I've been known for the last 20 years touring around with my own blended comedy styling. So, uh, yeah, no one's doing anything remotely like this. Fusion was studying to be a scientist growing up and had a passion for magic. So he found a way to fuse the two together. We offer a science magic twist. So teaching kids uh, science in the form of magic has been kind of the core push in the curriculum of it. Does Fusion's rave about the show live up to the test? We asked some audience members what their favorite part was. Oh, it was, I think it was cool when he made my cousin Cruz float in the air on the magic carpet and when he made the bird appear and stuff. When I made Wade on the magic carpet. What did he get you to do? Um, way down and then turn my face that way so I won't Although the show came to an end, the fun still kept going on as Fusion made time to mingle with his fans and even joke around. So again, you gotta tell me, how did you like the show? Um, good. Just good? Not awesome? I mean, yeah, awesome. <laughs> how awesome was it? Oh, very awesome. Was it the most fun you've had at the fair? Yeah. <laughs> with his funny personality and creativeness, Fusion seems to be a hit. While the magic tour continues after colonial days, Fusion is also currently working on a TV show. Happy Lee, Newcap News. Colonial Days does wrap up tomorrow night with fireworks and an appearance by an award-winning Canadian country music artist. Lloyd FM's Heather Clegas has that and more for your weekend plans on this week's What's Happening.
Colonial Days wraps up this weekend and you won't want to miss Saturday. Not only is it your last chance to go on all the rides, it's also a great opportunity for you to take in one of the big names in Canadian country music. Dean Brody will be playing live at the Grandstand on Saturday night. You may know his songs. His first big hit was Brothers. Some of his other big hits include Dirt Road Scholar and a song that I love, People Know You By Your First Name. You've heard him on Lloyd FM. You can see him live as part of Colonial Days tomorrow night. History will come alive in Wainwright this weekend. Our story is underway. It's a chance for you to do a little bit of exploring, find out a little bit more about the history of the town. There will be storytelling as well and of course they do have a lot of history there including some military history. So great opportunity for you to find out a little bit more about Wainwright this weekend. And we've had a little bit of rain recently, so that is good news if you're headed out to the garden tour in Vermilion tomorrow. Things should be nice and green, so you'll get a great idea of what those gardens look like. Things get underway at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Well, whatever you choose to do this weekend, I hope you have a great one. I'm Heather Clegas, and that's what's happening.